not gonna lie. I'm wearing sweatpants and slippers right now because I couldn't be bothered to change into a full outfit. Hello everyone, my name is Spirit and welcome to my chaotic sack anime vlog. So this sack anime is sack anime winter 2023. So the very first, one of the very first conventions of 2023. Now it is at the same time as ALA, which is the anime Los Angeles in case you didn't know. However, me and my friends decided to go to sack anime because it is way closer and way easier to get to. So with that intro being said, let's get on to the vlog. Right, so it is day zero. I am currently driving up to Sacramento slash around the area because I'm spending the night with some friends. Um, it's about a four hour drive from where I live now. And I'm only about 20 minutes in, but I'm running on three hours of sleep because I had to finish Sophie last night and this morning. I finished her at 10 a.m. or like 10, 10.30 in the morning. And it is currently 1.30 as I'm recording this. So I should be getting to Sacramento around 5 o'clock. Um, yeah, we're running on three hours of sleep. And I got caffeine. I am hoping I can make it through this drive. It might have been my actual <laughs> hair. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> She's on drugs. I, I am medicated. Oh, no. I got a new med. <laughs> you gotta put that in the quote. I'm medicated. I just got new meds. I just got new meds. I'm sorry. She guys. has to be on drugs. I'm like, no, that one that came around. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been scared of those. Oh, God. Thank you, Vlog. But, like, if you can, then you can keep recording. You can wait a while it happens. You got games on your phone? Dunhina. Dunhina. If you're so scared of thunder, just think of that fucking I messed up the first bit, so here's my second one. <laughs> oh. Are you in your food now? Mmm, I love it. <laughs> I've definitely eaten. Oh, yeah. oh, so when I get to the boots, I'm I gotta go like this. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna use that clip. Oh, you should have gotten the straw. Material girl. Material girl. You can probably go ask one for one from Starbucks. I also need a spoon too. Yes. I'm sure you can go through that door if you ask her. <laughs> Dick fish. <laughs> So I was just interviewed for an entirely different video and I think it's really interesting, right? I'm literally just walking through the dealer's hall, walking through the autographs, just kind of saying hi to people that I know. And this guy came up to me and he was like, hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? And so I said, sure. And he was asking me about how anime conventions smell. And I wasn't gonna lie, today it's not, it's not terrible, but I know it is gonna get so much worse over the weekend. God. They won't answer the fucking phone. We found them. No one else is vlogging, so I'm gonna vlog. Second, I mean day one. And we are oh, going to the restroom because everyone needs to rearrange themselves. So. We will be in the dealer's hall. Ah, later. Ah. I have fucking 
eyelash glue on my eyelid. <laughs> It's floor con now. We changed. I took a shower. I'm still staying. Oh, I'm we're gonna go get food. I'm gonna go get food. She's going to the hotel. We're waiting for Jay, Sue, and Ryan. And then we're gonna go get food and she's gonna go back to the hotel and shower. Uh. <laughs> Oh. Do it again. So to your right, you're gonna see uh, Susan con crunching for the second day in a row, trying to get her cosplay done. She already wore today, but still needed to fix things. And on your left, you're gonna see a cosplayer who is just mentally drained and wants to sleep. I need and to remind you. I right, need to remind you. You're a dyslexic, and when you say to your left, you're pointing to my right. <laughs> You're pointing to your left. I can't turn things around. <laughs> to your further left. This is you my left. Medicated <laughs> You have to do it as a tour guide. And I'm gonna film every single second because it's gonna be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Mom. I don't know. <laughs> no, for it. no, you can okay. go for it. I'm finishing off your Please explain your cosplay as a tour guide. <laughs> I have to practice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm fucking emotional. <laughs> My skin is irritated as hell. And I'm emotional because it's like midnight. I got four hours of sleep last night, three hours the sleep. Three, three hours. What? Three hours of sleep the night before. And it's hitting me that I'm competing in the masquerade tomorrow. I just hope that this will fit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm literally fucking crying. Casual to Zargo. Casual to Zargo. Zargo looks at me. Can you hear me right now? Like, what the <laughs> oh, the iron's yelling at you. <laughs> oh. That's so funny. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm laughing. Because <laughs> we were talking about how proud we are of ourselves that we're going to a masquerade because we never thought we would do this. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, yeah. Shut so the fuck up, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> so my today. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a cosplay veteran over here like, what am I doing? You're stupid! <laughs> he looks so great! <laughs> Masquerade, you literally, you literally, tour guide, Robert. You know, like, show winner, right? <laughs> <laughs> literally, we're sitting here, she's like, she's like, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, what the And sobbing, and you're like, I don't understand why it doesn't... <laughs> I can't breathe because I'm laughing and I'm crying at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, oh, day oh. one so of sack anime is over. Yeah, okay. My skin is so irritated and so mad at me. There's lash glue still on my lashes, but it is so mad at me. The fuck is this? Really what in yeah. the world? Anyways, day one is done. I literally started crying because I was watching Sarah Spaceman's whole mat vlog and started crying because I'm so proud of her of what she's done with her strawberry muku because I'm fucking obsessed with her right now. And I started crying thinking about myself. That's the end of day one. His name is no longer DiGiorgo, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> I don't care about your DiGiorgo, your DiGiorno delivery. I care. I don't care that you broke your elbow. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Are you going to cry? You're like, you like, not seeing that vine? Where it's like, he's around, he's like I'm going to say it. I don't care that you broke, broke your elbow. elbow. Isn't everyone thinking of being sincere today? I know. <laughs> so, we're going to pause.
the clips that you just saw before were of me crying. I promise I was okay in those, those videos. I am okay now. I was simply crying because I was very proud of myself for completing my first handmade cosplay, which was Sophie. That, the whole process of me creating Sophie was very tedious. I had the idea for probably over a year before I finally decided to sit down, buy the fabric, buy the materials, and get started. However, between me buying the fabric and sack anime was a very long time. And me being me, I decided to con crunch the entire cosplay within the last two to three weeks before sack anime. And I kept telling myself, you got four weeks left, you got three weeks left, you got two weeks left. And I still finished Sophie the night before I entered the masquerade. And that night that you saw me crying was the night that I finished Sophie and I finished her hat. But I'm extremely proud of myself for completing that cosplay and that was the first of many. I have so many projects that are on my list now. But me crying was totally okay. It, me crying and talking to Sue was perfect. It was what I needed in order to decompress after so many sleepless nights. I just needed to have that moment to cry and feel proud of myself. But yes, me crying was totally fine. I'm a crier. I know that straight up. I was crying and I was laughing because Jay was making me laugh. Everything was okay. Wrong shoulders. Squad. 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 Assemble. Uh, e. <laughs> we got our airport flashlights. Yeah. Would you like two? Okay, I forgot to record all day, but basically we are in line to go onto the stage. Anastasia, so we are in line to go onto the stage to compete in the masquerade. I will talk about. We kill the Mandalorian. I will talk about what happened during prejudging at a later time because it was kind of a nightmare, but it's okay. We're here. We're vibing. We're getting through it. We're doing this for fun. We're girl bossing. We're, we're girl bossing. We're girl bossing. But I will explain later. I will have my full walk on. Hopefully soon. Another from Howl's Moving Castle. Sophie To, to just kind of explain the disaster that was the SAC Anime Winter 2023. And I'm not saying this as somebody who lost one of the awards. The people who won the awards were absolutely deserving of them. Their cosplays looked phenomenal. Looking at them and seeing them up close and in person, they were absolutely stunning and they deserved every single award that they won. Um, but the this masquerade was a disaster. Prejudging was a disaster. Me and my friends waited for two, three hours in the pre-judging line only to for one of us to make it into the room and for the rest of us to be cut off at the door. We were at the door and we got cut off at 5.30. The pre-judging line started at two. We got in line about 2.30. And at four is when pre-judging was supposed to be over. However, there were still so many people in line and so many contestants in line. And they cut us off at 5.30. 
at the door. And what they did was they had one person who basically was running the masquerade come by and talk to all of us and talk to all of us about our costumes and basically ask us the questions that the judges would be asking. However, it is not the same as the judges asking us the questions and seeing the cosplays and seeing the hard work that we put into it. And I'm not saying that that was crucial for people winning, like the Ronnie cosplayer, Amberger, I will tag her. Um, she didn't get prejudged. She was right behind me in line. We became really good friends in line just because we were there for three hours together only to not get judged. She won the journeyman craftsmanship and she entered in as a novice because this was her first cosplay. She won journeyman, the love life cosplay that won best in show. They didn't get prejudged. They were behind us in line. So prejudging didn't make or break the contest. However, it is one of the most important parts of a cosplay contest, especially when you have 50, 60 plus entries. And that was just a disaster in itself. The prejudging organization was awful. Another thing that they didn't allow for this masquerade for some reason was they didn't allow any skits or audio. And if you've ever seen or been to a cosplay masquerade, you know that the skits are some of the funniest parts. Or they have dance groups, like the Love Life group was supposed to perform a full dance on stage and they weren't able to, even though they still won Best in Show. It really hurts for a lot of us to have practiced and prepared and made audio, made dances, made everything to walk across the stage only for us to go to sign up and being told that skits weren't allowed. The SAC Anime website did not update the website to show that skits weren't allowed. It still showed the requirements for skits being under two minutes or under a certain amount of time. It still showed all of the requirements. So we went in with the expectation that we would still be allowed skits and audios for walk-on. And we were denied that as we were signing up. Now that in and of itself obviously doesn't ruin a masquerade. However, competing, it felt really disheartening for me for this being my first cosplay competition to not get prejudged by judges and to not be able to talk to the judges and explain my thought process behind Sophie and these small details that I really tried hard to put in, I couldn't explain that. And that really hurt as a cosplayer and I'm sure it hurts so many others. And that's just one of the things that SAC Anime needs to improve on. After 2020, I feel like the masquerade has slowly gotten worse. However, I really hope that they improve it because they have the potential to be one of the bigger cons in the United States and it's already on its way up. But with the masquerade being as bad as it was, it's discouraging a lot of cosplayers from coming and a lot of cosplayers from competing. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get back to the vlog. Dio. <laughs> Oh, they judge our fans losing their shit. We walked across stage and it was so scary. It was so scary. Oh, Freckled right. Zelda. Freckled now. There's Pike. <laughs> There's Jay and Grace off the stage because I didn't know where the exit the stage. But literally, <laughs> I was like, let's say this is between like the exit and the actual place. I almost walked this way. I was supposed to walk farther and I didn't. I was like, oh no. And I literally walked to the side. <laughs> but Here, Freckled Zelda is a judge now, better. right? That's really trying to so bad. I'm tearing. Freckled Zelda is a judge up, now for the masquerade. Edgar and when I walked and to the front there. of the stage, she said, Oh my god, Sophie! And I was like, <laughs> now, now we watch everybody else and everybody looks so good. Dabloon. Dabloon. She eats a dabloon. Yay! Dabloon. Now we walk, watch everybody else hey, can walk I give across out stage. Huh? Can I give out dabloons? <laughs> we watch everybody else walk across stage and we figure out the results. <laughs> I do this thing with my dress. I just pull it up and have my legs out because it's so hot under the dress. Thank you for joining me in leg solidarity. I don't want you to feel alone. Leggies. Hello everyone. Do we have any JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fans in the crowd? Woo! Oh, she's gonna do her new song. Her new song. I can't copyright it, but go listen to her song. I'll plug so it. Good. I'll it's plug it. They're, they're announcing. Oh, they're announcing. Time. They're announcing. I have to prop my phone up on the chair because I'm shaking. So I'll go in this chair because Jen keeps hitting my phone. Oh. What? You're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win.
and we have decided Atu. So. Kind of like kiss, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, 
In a way, I won. <laughs> Give it up for your judges. Give Woo! it up for your judges. I really sat there for like a good oh, minute, shit. just like, what the hell is that? That's so wobbly. I opened this. It's screaming. And it's screaming and the whole It's shaking. Oh, I felt the whole I'm shaking because I'm cold. I felt the parking garage shake. Basically, a bunch of metal is coming off of the roof. Please, for like two minutes. But fences are shaking, metal is coming off, and it hit a car. It hit two cars. But we told the lobby. I don't see them. So I'm cutting in again because on Sunday, I only filmed one clip, maybe two. I forgot to film Sunday simply because I had to be at a photo shoot with Nick and with uh, Cass and Vic so early in the morning. I don't know why we scheduled it at 9.30 in the morning, but we did. So I had to be there at 9.30 in the morning as well as packing all of my stuff from the hotel room. And at some point my friends had actually called me and said, we're taking your stuff down to meet you because we need to check out of the hotel room before we go into the con. So Sunday morning was chaotic. Sunday morning was basically me having a photo shoot, packing my car. And then I finally got the chance to walk through the dealer's hall and like get stuff that I actually wanted instead of worrying about Secret Santa and stuff like that. So Sunday was just kind of a more of a chill day for the afternoon, but a very, very busy morning. So I forgot to vlog. Hi. <laughs> Listers. They're Listers. God, I'm so tired from this fucking con. I need to de-stress. <clears throat> So for Sack Anime, a really fun thing that we decided to do was instead of getting gifts for our entire friend group, because that would cost a lot of money for a lot of us who don't have as much money, we decided to do a Secret Santa. And it was really, really fun. And we were going to make an entire video out of that itself. However, many of us forgot to film and that's totally okay. I forgot to film all of us opening the presents and it was my idea. So instead, here's a little clips at the end of us doing our little um, our little secret Santa for all of us who remembered to film. All right, we're in the artist alley. This is Cass. I'll put their no. handle on the screen. We are getting our gift for Secret Santa because they're joining me now. They're also the Secret Santa now. But so my person is I'm Ray Lani. Secretly a part of this. Secretly a part of it. They're helping. Secretly a part of the Secret Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Ray Lani. We've already kind of scoured the artist alley and we pretty much know what we want to do with her. And I'm so excited for the prints because they look so funny. So we're gonna go get them. Okay, so I'm on my own now. I'm searching for like one more gift for Elani because I, I wanted to get her something more than just a poster. Even though the poster is hilarious, I wanted to get her one more thing other than the poster. And I think I know what it is. All right. So I got the gift for Elani. It's in this bag right here. It's Christmas themed, so I thought it was really appropriate. But she's a huge fan of Vocaloid, so I got her the Miku print that's just a meme. And then I also got her a super cute holiday Miku figure that I think is gonna be perfect for her. So I'm cutting in again, but you don't get my actual face because I realized this as I was editing. Um, the draw names system that we used for our Secret Santa accidentally screwed up and gave two people the same person. So Sue and Jay both got Pike, which meant that Sue was originally supposed to get me, but she accidentally got Pike. But everything worked out in the end, you'll see. That's why this segment is gonna look a little bit weird. It's because Jay and Sue have the same person, but that's okay. I forced everyone away for this moment because I wanted to, well, there's Hatsune Miku posters over there that I was thinking of, but at the same time I'm thinking of this one for my person. Okay. That one? I'm thinking about it. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I'm thinking I might get that one. Otherwise, I might get something else. So I'm not sure. Like, put that if they want, like, lots of stuff. Hi! Hello! How are you? Julia? Yeah! Oh, hi! Hi! How are you? <laughs> Little does everyone know. I gift. Hello. I look like a thumb. I don't know if you can hear. I am Pike. I am shopping for Ryan. Um, yeah, I'm fine and shit. We out here. Ryan's really like critical role shit and like Molly Mock in particular. 
and I have a mutual who has a store here that does a lot of Critical Role shit. So I'm trying to find them because I feel like Ryan would really like their vibe. No Critical Role booth yet, but I found this cat. It's one of those flippy cats because Ryan said they like cats. Uh, and it has a, it's magical. It's a unicorn, it's really cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, currently upstairs trying to get earrings because I noticed this really cute shop up here. I'm going to show her your list, Ryan. And I'm gonna say, do not anything like this. And she's gonna say, absolutely, because her shop is very cute. Um, she's not gonna say, fuck it. I don't, I'm gonna stop talking. Bag secured. I got these little calico cat earrings, because I don't know, I feel like Brian gives calico cat energy. Especially when they're, they're wearing Ardigan today. Ardigan? It's not like Cardigan. I'm probably mispronouncing the traveler's name. Whatever. They're playing Jester's Dude today. Playing? Cosplaying. I'm playing stupid but yes cat earrings mr mock up there bag secured i could not find the stand i was thinking of but i found that place that spirit really likes to get the wall scrolls from and i got mr mock up here and brian likes molly mock and don't don't we all because brian has good taste uh, then i gotta say something uh -oh. a... up your gift Migos. Wait. Yeah. 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 Secret Santa. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Here's the stuff that Pike got me for Secret Santa. It's all very very cute, and I love all of it. And yeah, thank you. I was a big dummy and I didn't take a video, but um, here's a recreation of what happened. Do, 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 do. Yes. Okay, I, uh, I'm doing this review with my son. For Christmas, I got Hatsune Miku. Sujin got this for me. Then I got Koala Bunny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. I love, I'm from Ryan. Yeah. It's so good. So cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mr. Cyndaquil, how do you rate these? Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. I look like ass, but I got this print. It's very pretty. It's so pretty. I'm going to frame it. Anyways. And then I got these stickers, cause they're pretty. Look at them, look at them. Thank you so much, Melissa. They're so cute. Look at them, look at the little baby mushroom. Ah! It's so cute. I'll show it again. So Pike actually is at college right now out in Oregon and so she accidentally left her gift in California so she cannot actually film what she got. But here is a photo. She got that cute little hamster with a magnet strawberry on his mouth and that was from Jay. As your wish list and you get Hatsune Miku. It, they're so cute. Like look at this. It got a little bent up because it was in my bag um, on the way home. But like this, this is so... This is so fucking accurate and I just love the art style. Like, look at it, look at her. And then my actual present. I got another figure on top of my whole ass collection of Miku Nendos. I got another Miko. Miku. What? Who the hell is Miko? <laughs> figure. She's so cute. I love her little boots and her little hair. Ah, I love you guys so much. Thank you. All right, so I just want to show what Sujin got me. Hello. I want to show what Sujin got me for Secret Santa. She got me this super cute little jester, like, charm, acrylic charm. It's currently inside of my little cat Ida bag. But she got me this. She was also there when I purchased this cute little, like, shaker gun that's just chilling in there. 
but she got me my cute little jester acrylic charm pin and then Jay actually gave me one of their little potion bottles that they made for their Jargo cosplay. And inside of it is actually... I did not plan that, but I just rolled a natural 20. But yeah, I got that. So sick. <laughs> and that, my friends, was the chaotic SAG Anime Winter 2023 vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna include a bunch of clips right now of just us being absolutely chaotic. Photos from Instagrams, photos from TikTok that I uploaded already, I'm gonna include in the end because they're just funny. I'm gonna include a bunch of videos. I will say that it is gonna be vertical, so I'm sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. But I really hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can expect a lengthy text about that one. God, I'm so tired from this fucking con. I need to de stress. <laughs>